हेलो एवरीवन आप सभी का फिर से एक बार स्वागत है मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल में जिसका नाम है कॉमर्स ट्रेजर सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मैसूर एम कॉम पी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन पेपर ऑफ जुलाई 2019 The paper consists of 50 questions, which are MCQ type questions. So, without wasting much time, let's start the questions. Match the items of list one with items of list two, and select the correct answer using the codes given below. So, they have given you list in which there are four types of ratios, and in the second list, what the ratio does is given. So, you have to match the following ratios. Leverage ratio is always related to relationship between debt and equity. liquidity ratio shows the short term solvency turnover ratios are used to find out the efficiency of asset management and profitability ratio are used to find out the earning capacity of the firm so a3 we have two options of a3 then b1 a3 b1 so the right answer is going to be option number d in india which of the following is prepared on the guidelines of as3 that is accounting standard 3 so in india as per as3 we prepare the cash flow statements and consolidated financial statement is prepared according to as21 so all the accounting standards are very important you can remember as any of this can be asked for the exam improvement of profit volume ratio right that is nothing but the pv ratio which is computed by contribution divided by sale can be done by so if you have to improve the pv ratio you have to increase the selling price definitely it is correct altering the sales mixture that is also correct and reducing the variable cost that is also correct so right answer is going to be option number d that is all of the above so if you increase the selling price variable cost will remain same therefore contribution increases and pv ratio increases altering the sales mixture is also going to end up resulting in increase in pv ratio and if you reduce the variable cost your sales value is going to be same therefore contribution will be same but sales value decreases so again pv ratio increase the most suitable coverage ratio for deciding the debt capacity of the firm is so interest coverage ratio and cash flow ratio both are used to find out how much the company is capable of paying its debt but the most suitable ratio if you have to select then the answer is going to be option number b that is cash flow coverage ratio now larger the ratio it shows that the firm is better in paying the debt and the formula for cash flow coverage ratio will be operating cash flow divided by short term debt coverage match the following items of the following two list so list 1 they have given you four items and list 2 they have given you four things zero based budgeting is nothing but it is a type of budgeting which is used to control the expenditure so 1 c 1 c we have two options that is option number a and option number d goodwill or capital reserve is related to your business combination so 2 d 2d we have again two options reduction of capital is nothing but it is done in internal reconstruction so 3a that is option number d so option number d is going to be right answer basic and diluted are nothing but these are the types of earning per share so basic is nothing but the normal eps and diluted is nothing but whenever there are securities which can be converted to equity share capital then it is called as diluted eps the set of a of odd positive integers less than 10 can be expressed as so odd numbers which are less than 10 can be seen in option number b that is 1 3 5 7 9 are all odd numbers and all odd positive numbers less than 10 the number of subset of a power set which is an empty set is so it is always equal to option number a 1 every set is a dash of itself so every set is a improper subset of itself option number b is going to be the right option transpose of column matrix is so whenever there is a column matrix when you transpose that it becomes a row matrix so option number d row matrix is going to be the right option the determinant of identity matrix is so it is always equal to 1 and the trace is going to be n in a reconstruction scheme the reduction of capital may take the form of reducing the liability of shareholders in respect of any unpaid amount of share held by them definitely this is correct 
paying off any unpaid share capital which is in excess of its requirement definitely this is also correct cancelling any paid up share capital which is lost or unrepresented by available asset is also right so option number d all of the above should be the right answer for this question when the values of mean median and mode are same in a distribution it is a or n so remember whenever the mean is equal to median is equal to mode then it is called as an symmetric distribution and asymmetric distribution or which is also called as skewed distribution are one when the mean is not equal to median is not equal to mode data collected through personal interview is considered as so it is always considered as option number b primary data which is collected by first hand or first time by the collector it may be in the form of personal interview or it may be in the form of schedules it may be in the form of questionnaires or observation method or experiment etc secondary data are data which are already been collected by some other person for some other purpose and if you are collecting it from then then it is called as secondary data which includes collecting it from annual reports or websites or from some books newspaper magazines journals etc a measure of the strength of the relationship between two variables is the regression correlation correlation coefficient regression coefficient so answer is going to be option number c that is correlation coefficient which is denoted by r and it was first given by carl pearson the range of correlation is always in between minus 1 to plus 1 so you can remember this the range it can be minimum of minus 1 and it can be maximum to plus 1 minus 1 means negatively correlated and plus 1 means positively correlated positively correlated means both move in same direction negatively correlated means both move in opposite direction and zero correlation means both are not correlated to one another another name for random sampling is systematic sampling non probability based sampling convenience sampling probability sampling so right answer is option number d that is probability sampling wherein all the unit in a universe have an equal chance of being selected in the sample so probability is same for everyone non probability based sampling is where everyone does not have an equal chance to be in the sample probability based sampling includes systematic sampling simple random sampling stratified sampling cluster sampling multi stage sampling etc and non probability based sampling includes convenience sampling quota sampling snowball sampling panel sampling etc when the data is represented using a circle it is called as so whenever you are using a circle to represent the data it is called as it is called as a pie chart option number b is the right option so the total degree in a pie chart will be 360 degree protect the environment while producing the product this is a slogan of marketing concept selling concept production concept societal marketing concept so right option is option number d that is societal marketing concept marketing concept says that whatever the customer wants you have to give them that particular products selling concept says that if the selling is good enough if you are able to sell the products then customer is going to purchase that product and production concept says that the more you produce the customer is going to purchase that goods dash buys product and dash uses product so always remember customers are one who buys the product and consumers are one who consumes the product or uses the product option number b is going to be the right option this company is reputed in the market because of its fast innovation and acts as a game changer so nokia apple htc samsung so always we know that apple company is known for its innovation and new technology therefore option number b is the correct answer testing of a product before launching it in the market is called as so before you launch a product in the market you have to test it for a sample of people and that is called as test marketing that is option number d a wholesale merchant purchases goods in small quantity and sell to another wholesaler no this is wrong large quantity and sell to retailers yes definitely this is right 
so a wholesaler is one who buys goods in large quantity and then sells as per the requirement to the small retailers retailers again sell the goods in a smaller quantity to the consumers or the customer optimal input combination to minimize the cost for a given output will be at a point where iso cost is tangent to iso costs definitely this is correct mrts between inputs are equal this is also correct mrts stands for marginal rate of technical substitution any movement from optimum point will lead to lower level of output this is also correct a b c all are correct therefore option number d that is all the above conditions are fulfilled master budget is a functional budget operating budget summary budget financial budget so master budget is a total budget that is a summary budget functional budgets are nothing but sales budget production budget purchase budget all these are coming under functional budget operating budgets are nothing but the revenue and the expenditure operating revenue and expenditure whatever you are preparing the budget it is called as operating budget and financial budget is one which includes the financial related transactions the next is a assertion and reasoning type of question given below are two statements one is labeled as assertion and another is labeled as the reason for this so assertion says that only the relevant cost should be taken into consideration for decision making so definitely this is correct you have to consider only the relevant cost which are important cost all the variable costs are relevant definitely true and all fixed costs are irrelevant this is also correct so option number a that is both a and r are correct should be the right answer for this question the next question is which one is not the item of economic cost to the business owner supplied resources market supplied resources implicit cost non monetary opportunity cost of using owner supplied resources so option number d is going to be the right option because it is not coming under economic cost of the business as it is non monetary opportunity cost of using owner supplied resources so i will stop this video over here the remaining 25 questions will discuss in the next video if i get a positive response on this video i'll make more of these videos for your entrance exam preparation so do share this video with your friends and if you like the video please hit a like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get a notification as soon as i upload a new video you can also watch the other entrance exam videos which i have already posted in my channel so that it is going to help you for your upcoming entrance exam thank you for watching the video and we'll meet you again with another video